when we talk about gerrymandering and redistricting, I think a lot of people aren't exactly sure about what that means. So what does that mean? And, and what are your thoughts on these latest maps that have been redrawn? What, what is the direct connection between folks in North Carolina and these legislative maps? Yes. So my direct response to my perspective on these maps is that they are trash. Um, that is pretty much how, how, the, how people feel about these maps. Um, the, the reason why we continue to find ourselves in litigation in North Carolina is because for the last 10 years, well, really 12 years, since 2010, we've seen partisan gerrymandering, which has led to the GOP leading our state when our state does not represent or, you know, our, our state is representative of a pretty balanced political um, ideologies or pretty balanced political ideologies in general. So what we're seeing is that gerrymandering has been an issue uh, for the last you know, decade, and it's really time that it stopped and that we got independent re, uh, redistricting and independent map drawing. So essentially gerrymandering is the process where one party draws maps to favor their party over another party when we have elections. And that process has really manifested in who's elected and who has access to power and who has access to making laws and policies in our state. And that's what we've seen and been dealing with over the last few years. Now, the issue really comes in when people are set deciding to step up and run for office and they can't really, you know, design their campaigns and organize what they're going to do until they wait for those maps to be drawn. Of course, they can do some things, but they can't really dive into you know who they're supposed to meet and what communities they're supposed to work in and how they're going to organize their their campaigns from a field and organizing perspective because the maps change so much when i was running in 2018 the maps changed three times before i finally declared and, and started actually running for office then those maps were redrawn just the next year and thrown out of a court system that year in 2019 and then now we're back here again. In 2020, the maps were redrawn and thrown out. And now we're, we're in 2020 or 2021, rather. Now we're in 2022 dealing with the exact same thing. If we deal with the map drawing process of being equitable and independent, perhaps we'll draw fair maps that don't have to get thrown out every single year.